the Zam superyacht, delivered in October of 2013, surpassed the Eclipse superyacht as the biggest superyacht on the planet. Indeed, for the individuals who don't realize a Zam is a private superyacht worked by German shipyard Lursen Yachts. Azam was dispatched on April 5, 2013. At 180 meters or 590 feet long, it is the longest private engine yacht on the planet. It has a beam of 20.8 meters or 68 feet and a curiously shallow draft of 4.3 meters or 14 feet 1 inch. The yacht was followed through on September 9, 2013. And upon conveyance to its proprietor in October 2013, the yacht made a huge milestone in its construction, including under three years of development and one year of designing exercises. The cost of construction of the yacht was approximately $600 million. If you want to know more about this $600 million super yacht, stay tuned till the end of the video to find out all about it. The owner of the yacht is Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan, the President of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Abu Dhabi. The yacht's development cost more than $600 million. The name of the yacht, Azam, implies assurance in Arabic. It's without a doubt a showstopper. Delivered in 2013, the yacht costs around a total of $605 million. With its delivery, it deposited Roman Abramovich's Eclipse superyacht from being the biggest yacht on the planet. Eclipse is 533 feet in length, while the Azam flaunts 590 feet, 57 feet longer than Abramovich's yacht. What's fascinating about Azam is that architects required four years to assemble it. The CEO of German shipbuilding organization Lursen referenced that the development of the yacht utilized more than 4,000 individuals. It is an awesome commitment to man's monetary strength. Azam's builder, Lursen, additionally holds the distinction of building Topaz, by and by the world's fourth biggest superyacht. Close by Topaz and Eclipse, the rundown of the world's biggest superyachts additionally incorporates any semblance of Pylorus, claimed by the prominent Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich. The exterior plan of the yacht was given by Nauta Design, while the interior was designed by Christoph Leoni, FR. Father Lucien Werft was responsible for the designing and development of the Azam superyacht and assembling the interior. Specialized designing services were completed under the initiative of Mubarak Saad Abahabi. The development is planned with superior grade and rigid materials to guarantee greatest well-being just as solace. The Azam is a special yacht which parades mind-boggling intricacy in its detail and plan. The super yacht can accommodate up to 36 guests, propelling the Azam as the biggest super yacht as far as visitor limit. A group of 60 individuals is required on board to keep up and maintain the yacht alone. Similar to other yachts constructed by Lursen, the Azam measures 180 meters long and has a beam of 20.8 meters. Similar to different yachts built by Lursen, Azam is environmentally friendly with diminished carbon dioxide, noise, and soot emissions, as well as enhanced fuel efficiency. Azam is also believed to include facilities to use waste heat from the engine to operate the yacht's desalination system for drinking water. Lursen has been lauded for being the first yacht builder to implement this system. This yacht is quite possibly the most costly magnum opuses and will, for yearly support, cost around 10% its maximum price. This implies the proprietor should spend more than $60 million consistently to keep Azam in prime condition before cruising off to an unfamiliar destination. The inside plan of the yacht is exceptionally secret. However, initially leaked photographs propose that it highlights six decks. The back perspective of the vessel additionally recommends that it is fueled by jets. Though the inside style stays a strictly confidential mystery, legacy was of prime significance. French fashioner Christophe Leone, who had recently worked at a portion of the owner's homes and castles, welcomed comparable styles on board, including an abundance of wood furniture, unpredictably veneer with mother-of-pearl marquetry. The Azam can arrive at speeds of as fast as up to 31.5 knots and is viewed as one of the fastest super yachts on Earth.
The yacht highlights two gas turbines with two diesel motors and an appraised power yield of 23,500 horsepower. The yacht can cruise at a greatest speed of 30 knots, and this is a significant uncommon speed limit for a particularly tremendous superyacht. Many consider Azam to outperform a Bromovic superyacht regarding conveniences without any problem. Remember that Eclipse accompanies two helipads, pools, a cinema, an exercise center, and additional astounding highlights. When you're ready, you'll be totally passed up by its uniqueness as far as extravagance is concerned. Each lodge is richly intended to make you feel extraordinary, just as agreeable. In general, Azam is only unparalleled. It will leave you with a stunning, jaw-dropping experience. Discussing the advancement of the world's biggest superyacht, the yacht was moved from her original harbor at Lursen Shipyard, estimating 170 meters, to a bigger harbor, estimating 220 meters in May 2012. Steel cutting for the yacht was held in late 2009. The yacht effectively finished ocean preliminaries in June of 2013, prior to its commissioning. The Azam is 180 meters long and has a beam of 20.8 meters and a maximum draft of 4.3 meters. The body of the world's largest yacht is made of steel. Azam Super Yacht has a gross weight limit of roughly 14,000 tons and highlights a gas tank with a limit of 1 million liters. Its principal salon estimates 29 meters long, with its bar estimating 18 meters. The salon on board the yacht has an open space highlighting no support columns. The yacht includes around 50 suites with no large and open spaces on the deck, with the inside plan of the vessel joining the Empire style. It can go more than 32 knots, controlled by a mix of two gas turbines and two diesel engines, with a complete force yield of 35,048 kilowatts, or 47,000 horsepower, through four pump jets. Two of the pump jets are non-mobile round water outlets in the middle of the stern, and two with thrust vectoring abilities utilize movable duct water outlets situated on one or the other side of the non-movable ones. For a time from her launch in April 2013, the super yacht Azam remained the world's largest private yacht. At 180 meters in general, Azam was obscured distinctly in 2019 when the examination and endeavor vessel REV Ocean was divulged, and afterward by just three meters. To Azam's owners and exterior designer Nauta Design, size was never a definitive objective. All things considered, the goal was to make a smooth vessel with rich, immortal lines. Initially, the superyacht was intended to be 145 meters, yet during the time spent streamlining, it grew, and right up till the present time, Mario Pedol, founder of Nauta Design, accepts it as an extraordinary commendation when admirers say the yacht looks less than her size. Azam was to be different in style and intent, but Nauta was brought in to shape how the vessel would look. Quote, it was a challenging brief, says Pedol. The ship, and actually it is a ship, was due to reach 30 plus knots, so one of the fundamental characteristics was the speed, quite unusual for this size, and I wanted to give a sense of that speed even in the design. Fortunately enough, the requirement of interior volume was not excessive for the length, so it did allow us to design a balanced and elegant yacht with good proportions. I've had many comments that, from some distance, you can't tell she's a 180 meter yacht. This was all about Magnificent Yacht. What do you think about this beauty? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fun and interesting videos in the future.